What's going on guys, Dippin' Diesel back. We are installing a sound system into my Can-Am. I've already got most of everything taken off that had to come off. We went with the Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 sound system. So what this is gonna do, basically, it is a head unit. I've already put all this stuff on so this doesn't come like this in the packaging. You have, you have to go ahead and uh, put everything on yourself. But it did come with the panel, two panels, two six and a half, inch speakers and the uh, head unit and I did put all this all together uh, it's pretty self-explanatory um, but yeah we got the uh, the old panels out the new panel which is nice it comes with actual openings on this old panel right here you actually have to cut them out I think maybe you just push them out yeah you just push them out but I'll go ahead and take those out and put them in these then uh, but yeah, we got the uh, headlight switch already in. Uh, this all wired up in there. This kit came with um, a cable that runs to the battery, but that cable was for a different model of this stereo system. This one already came with the wiring harness because it came with the kit. So this kit was already made for this Can-Am. And the power goes to this cable right here. I was trying to figure out where this cable was going to plug into because this is meant for the power and ground. Um, I couldn't really think of anything except for this um, cigarette lighter, the 9 volt. Uh, but I took the uh, wiring harness off of that and it's not the same as that plug right there. But I did go ahead and look down here, you probably can't see it because it's too dark. But there is a plug just like that, I have it in my hand, that isn't attached to anything. So I'm wondering if I go ahead and plug that plug into there, will it power the unit? That's what I'm hoping for. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all together and uh, we'll see if it all works out. All right guys, update for you. That plug actually did connect to the stereo wiring harness. All I had to do was take this uh, little white piece off. It already has some electric grease in there, so that's good to keep it watertight. Um, and literally these took two seconds on each side to put back in. So all I have to do is, um, I'm gonna have to drill two holes somewhere right in here. I think they're, yeah, there's like little divots already. I think that's where the holes are gonna drill into. Um, and then clean up this wiring with some zip ties that they provided. They gave you a shitload of zip ties. So I'll be able to clean all that up. And what's cool about this kit is, of course I only have two speakers plugged in right now, but then you can go ahead and plug in some rear speakers. So you got right and left, and then an amp um, little plug. And then over here, you have a massive amount of subwoofer speakers that you can plug into this kit. So this kit is just like a base kit. The stage two, the stage one is just the uh, head unit. Stage two comes with uh, the front uh, two speakers and then the stage three, four, and five all come with a bunch of other stuff. So the reason why I went with the stage two kit is because I didn't really want the options that they provided with the other stages. So the stage two kit is perfect. You get two speakers straight up front. What I'm gonna do later is get a sound bar that goes across here and then I'm gonna throw like four tower speakers on there. I'm, I don't know if I wanna get wet sound because those are pretty expensive, um, but I will put four tower speakers across the back, get an amp. It will be a pretty good sound system, I think, uh, with the tower speakers and amp and uh, get a couple subwoofers. Cause you know, I got a bunch of, uh, a bunch of plugs for some subwoofers. Throw that bitch under the seat get this shit bumping, but for right now, I just went with the stage two. This kit alone was like 700 bucks, so um, <laughs> sound systems aren't cheap, especially for toys like this, because two wet sound um, tower speakers, the eight inch ones are like 1200 bucks. So uh, if you get four, that's like 2400 bucks plus shipping and, and tax and everything like that. So stage two will be perfect for me just for right now. Um, but let me go ahead and clean all this stuff up. Um, this install is pretty self-explanatory. You don't really have to be a sound guru, sound system guru to figure all this stuff out. Literally you undo this 
some uh, some bolts as a T25 bit. Undo some bolts on both sides, pop the, uh, the old molding out, throw the speakers in, and um, you're good to go. Let me go ahead and uh, finish all this up and I'll check back with you once I get everything on and see if the unit turns on with that little plug that I plugged the, uh, the power into. So, I was gonna put everything back together right now. Uh, I already started. And then I realized um, it's better to check it now than uh, have it not work and not everything's put back together than have everything all together and it not working. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. And uh, see if this, oh it does, there it goes. Turns on, let's see if the speakers work. So I don't have an antenna, so that's why there's static. So I'm gonna go to, uh, Go to no Bluetooth. So. Ah, no, ¿qué te va a pasar? Oigan, este está para cachanilla, ¿no? Acá bien habitada con un vato acá de el vato cachanilla. Okay, I don't have an antenna, but. I guess this station comes up. Te comiste? And one thing I did forget, I can actually do it from right there, never mind. I was gonna say I forgot to plug the uh, headlights in, but it's easy to get to. So. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, put everything right together now that we know it works. So I got Bluetooth pulled up on my phone. Uh, let me just pick a song. Uh, I posted this song on my uh, on my freaking Snapchat. If you guys want to have me on Snapchat, uh, here's my Snapchat right here. Fuck you all, bitch. Major I just got some new boots and a new tractor. Got it on my tractor. Ran right past her. Fucked her in the past her. Yep, on my tractor. My boots, diamond bank, snake skin. Man, I look to back and dip. It makes my head spin. My wife wants to fuck me because I have a fat cup. Alright, guys, it is the next day. I had some stuff to do, so I couldn't finish the video then. But here I am, it's all bolted down. Got the two bolts right here. It just literally clips in right there. Super, 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 super easy ass install. I'm like, literally, if I didn't have to film or have something to do, I probably could have finished this within an hour. Um, really simple. Literally, the kit comes with this molding, this molding, this molding, the two speakers, the wiring harness, this head deck right here and literally all you have to do put this plastic piece in right here screw four bolts in put the head unit in screw four bolts in plug the wiring harness screw four bolts in for the speakers on both sides and then um, just pl literally plug the wiring harness into the speakers super super simple um, and then just replace all of the plastics and everything like that so yeah, I got a stereo system inside the Can-Am now. Uh, I just took it for a drive around the block and you can hear it uh, while you're driving. Uh, I'm just not sure with the helmet on yet because I didn't put a helmet on. But yeah, guys, really happy with how this turned out. Super easy. It's one of the like easiest installs I've ever done. Um, I'm not even joking with that too. Um, but yeah. Later on down the road, we're gonna get some tower speakers across the back. Let me know what brand you guys recommend. I know Wet Sound, I said that earlier, uh, is a good brand. Let me know other tower speakers uh, that are a good brand. I'm gonna get probably four of them across the back and then get an amp and uh, maybe some subwoofers for under the seats, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below what you guys wanna see uh, as to sound system uh, for this thing since I already got literally the main puzzle piece for this. Uh, to plug everything into so there it is guys 
Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are excited for more upgrades to this Can-Am. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.